Hi, this is Rebecca Kroll, co-author of Cold Wax Medium, Techniques, Concepts, and Conversations, and co-producer of Cold Wax Medium, a video workshop. Welcome to Ask Jerry and Rebecca, a video series answering all your questions about Cold Wax Medium. Hello, I'm Rebecca, and today's uh, question uh, for Ask Jerry and Rebecca comes to us from Susan Spraker, and she is wondering if um, I would talk about signing paintings, and she's wondering how Jerry and I sign our work and what various options are. So um, I'll approach this in two directions. Um, Susan herself would like to sign her work on the front, and she has been having trouble figuring out how to do that. It's uh, maybe because of the texture of her work or something. She's, she's having trouble finding a tool that will work to scratch her name in. And so um, I would suggest if you want to sign your work on the front that you use something like a skewer when the work is semi-dry and that will scratch the surface if that's not working for you, maybe try a wax-based pencil or crayon once the work is more fully dry and you should be able to get a, a pretty fine line. You could also use transfer paper um, which will provide a very thin line and this could be purchased uh, transfer paper or something that you make. And if you want to know how to make transfer paper, that's another whole topic, but you can look it up online and you will find a recipe by the artist Ku Shadler. So this this approach would give you a permanent signature that would be look pretty much like pencil. The other part of the question though is how Jerry and I sign our work and we both prefer to sign it on the back. Um, this is so as not to disrupt the visual flow of the painting basically as you're looking at it. A signature, unless it's very discreet, can be distracting. And um, because of the textural surfaces that we both have, it's, it just has never worked very well to sign it on the front, however small and discreet. Uh, signing it on the back is perfectly acceptable and um, we just use a sharpie or something and oh, on the back side I put the title, uh, my name, copyright symbol, date, and Jerry does the same. And this is, um, it's fine, you know, it's a tradition to sign your work on the front. And if that's important to you, then find a way. Uh, but I would encourage you not to make your signature so large or noticeable that it, it interferes with the, um, the person who's looking at your work, kind of taking in your work as a whole. Our eyes tend to gravitate towards anything written. And so it, it's not the holistic experience you would have if you're just looking at the painting, if you're distracted by the signature. So thanks for that question, Susan, and I hope you enjoyed the answer.